Okay, so we're on Sherwin Williams website, and what we want to do is explore paint colors, see what they're going to look like on, say, the interior of a wall, or if you're doing an exterior, you want to see what they look like on the exterior of the house. Finding these tools on Sherwin Williams website is a pain in the neck. Uh, I'm just going to say that very nicely. It's a pain in the neck. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we're exploring paint stains, colors, and supplies. So we go to the first option up here and click on that. Um, next thing they're going to do, which is not showing in this particular video, is they're going to ask you, are you a homeowner or a builder or whatever else? And I've already click, I clicked on that. Evidently, it's remembering uh, my cookies. Um, so that's not showing us um, that option, but it, it's pretty self-explanatory. That part you can figure out. Now, the next thing is you want to find that tool. Finding that tool, again, is just its amazing. Um, how, how difficult it was. So um, what we want to do is go to color tools. So go to color and then color tools. And then once there, if you scroll down, we have this color snap visualizer for the web. And um, let's click on that. And it's going to go ahead and load. Um, the color snap visualizer and then from here you go to paint a scene so we have explore color get inspired paint a scene so paint a scene and then um, what I would do is you know you're just just kind of looking to get a color scheme and you don't you know if you want to go and do your photos that's fine uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this video the main thing is just to you know show you how to get to an actual tool you can actually use so we're going to do sample scenes and then here you can scroll through all these indoor scenes. For me, I was looking for an outdoor scene. And so there's one outdoor scene, here's another outdoor scene, and you can just go and pick one and we'll we'll pick this one, paint this scene. Okay. Now, here's the colors down here that you have to work with. And um if you click on the first one which is already clicked, you can then go and highlight this area and click on the area and it'll paint it okay and then let's say we want to try and use this other color and then you want to do the trim and here I'm going to go off the trim can't really see that it changed let's see if we can do this one it was just too light so there's that let's click off the picture so there you go that, you, that kind of shows you you know what the what it looks like with the trim and the other one now let's say that you don't like the colors they gave you so let's go ahead and click on add a color and um, let's see what do we want to play with I'm gonna play with colors that I normally wouldn't use just for the kicks um, let's cry this one and let's do an add and then let's see here what do we want to do for trim again these are colors I would never <laughs> never really use um, but I'm just gonna have some fun with this and let's see okay so we've got that now uh, again how do you get back and this is where you got to go up here to the top and go to paint a scene once again because it's, they don't make it easy to get back. Sample scenes and then paint the scene. And it's going to say, hey, opening scene is going to replace the current scene you were working on. Would you like to continue? Well, if you say no, you're still stuck on this, this thing that you can't do anything with. Um, so you just got to say yes and start over again, which is fine because we're going to start over again anyway. Um, but again, uh, they, they don't really make it easy to go back to the scene you were working on, so this is the way you've got to do it. Um, so again, here's here's the color that we were picked, and here's another color that we were playing with. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that, and then I want it on the trim. And click out of it so you can see, get an idea. So again, not... Not something I think I would normally do for a house, but hey, for, for this video's purpose, kind of give you an idea. I'm, I'm playing with the trim here. And again, I'm clicking out of it. So give you kind of an idea. Let's see what this looks like. 
with the main as red and click out of it. So there you go. That's how you use the color picker. And again, it's, I just wanted to go through and show how to use this tool. Number one, how to get to the tool. And then number two, how to get to the, uh, number one, how to get to the tool. Number two, uh, how to use the tool, how to find paint uh, colors and add them. And then um, how to get back to the, the houses and, and play with it. Because uh, it's, it's not really user friendly at all. And, they'd only, and they only give you a limited number of slots here for colors. So as you pick colors that you like, um, you'll want to go and get rid of other colors that maybe you don't like so much. Um, let's see here. That to me is just too light. Um, I don't think I'm going to... No. Let's go back. Picked, I clicked on the wrong one here. I don't think I'm going to use that really, really light one here. And again, the reason I'm deleting it uh, is because I want to have more space here to try other colors. Now, once we're done there with this, we can go and click on more scenes, and then we can go back and try a different exterior house. And just play around with it. Uh, so hopefully that's that's helpful. Again, uh, I just found finding the tool to be extremely difficult to find. I found it very difficult to add colors um, and get back to the paint of scene. So it uh, looks like everything you're going to need is up here. Um, again, it's going to, when you do go to paint a scene, uh, it'll remove what you did before, but that's okay. And the other thing and we'll do yes. The other thing you can do if you wanted to, you could actually save. Once you've done it, you can save it to your computer. Um, and then that way you can go back and look at it later after you're off the site or if you want to print it out and take it with you. Um, it does allow you to save it to your computer. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, again, I'm not going into super, super detail with it, but I want to go into enough detail uh, that you can go and, and find what you need to find and, and play around with this. Um, because it does, it took me a good 10, 15 minutes of, of a lot of frustration before figuring it out. So that's it for now.